Hi there, this is video 510 on histogram. This is the second one where I give you a lovely frequency table and we're going to create a histogram based on that. So first thing we're going to do is let's figure out our x-axis. So x-axis is my horizontal one and that's where my intervals are going to go. So I'm going to put these numbers down that side. Now you'll notice I'm using a pencil this time. I tried to do the last video in pen and I messed it up and I just had to redo everything. So I suggest you do it in pencil. So this is your intervals. Now, if you count across, and I did this before, and there are 33 boxes. And we need to divide that up among, among some intervals. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten intervals. So if we take the number of boxes and divide it by your number of intervals, you get about 3.3. So every three boxes, will be one interval stream. So basically from zero to 500 is three boxes, from 500 to 1,000 is three boxes. If you wanted to do every two boxes, fine, but I would suggest don't use every one because then you're gonna have this really skinny little graph and just this part of the thing and it makes it really hard for me to read and it makes it hard for you to do. All right, so my graph starts at zero and then we count over three and I'm just going to make my little tick marks. All right. Yeah, because my writing is big, I'm going to do it this way. 500, 1,000, 1,500. So you're not writing the actual whole interval in. Your interval for the example, and you can see it there at the bottom, from zero to 500, it's gonna be this section, and then 500 to 1,000 is this section, you got it? All right, 2,000. All right. So we've got that. Now, when you do your x-axis, you also need to label it. So this oops, should say low rate in meters, oops, meters cubed per second. All right. So that's how you do that. Now, my y-axis has to do with my frequency. The y-axis is the vertical one. And this is going to measure how often that amount of flow rate hit. That's a really awkward way to say it, but you know what I mean. So if we look through our frequency, not like we have to total these up, but we see that the highest number is 14. So I need to go up 14 at that point. Oh, all right, and I did count, there's 23 boxes. And my highest is 14. All right, that's from over here. So if I tried to make one box equal to a frequency of one, so just count by ones, that would work just perfect. Because if I try and make it two, so if I count two boxes and go one, it's not going to work for me because I'm going to run out of room. All right, so, but I am going to count by twos. Because it, okay, truth be told, if I go one, two, three, and I count, it's just going to get all squishy. 
I don't write that nice. So there's my frequency. I go 14. You keep going, but 14 is as high, as high as we have to go. So I don't have to really worry about that. And we need to write frequency. Which again is how often that happens. So now we have to transfer information. So from zero flow rate to 500 meters cubed per second, that happens six years. So all I do is I find the six and I find that. And you can cover in the box. You can use your highlighter. You can use pencil crayons. But wow. Sorry, guys. There. Now you can see too. And that's it. Okay. Now from 500 to 1,000, I go back up to the chart. You guys can look. That happened 11 years. So I figure out where 11 is going to be. Right. So there's 10 and 12. So 11 is in the middle. And I'm going to color in. This one. So now that you see what to do, I suspect you can easily turn off the video, finish off the rest of them yourself, and turn it back on, and see that we got the same thing. Right, I trust you did that. So from 1,000 to 1,500. There was nine. <clears throat> and then from fifteen hundred to two thousand, there was fourteen. So you can have fun, use your highlighter, use different colors, whatever makes you happy. From 2000 to 2500, that was five years. Um, 2500 to 3000, oh, it's only one year. Um, 3,000 to 35 minus 3. Okay, I just want to make sure in case you guys are getting lost. This, this is where I'm getting those numbers from, right? Our frequency. So I'm just graphing how high they go. Um, 3,500 to 4,000, there was none. And then from four to 4,500, there was none. And then there was a one, really, I believe they called it the flood of the century. Over here. All right, so the only thing we forgot to mark is we need a title for our chart. And I'm just going to flip back. And this was maximum flow rate. And there we go. That's how you do Instagram. It's not too bad.